I'm a 3D artist, and in this video, I redesigned a bunch of Minecraft's weapons into completely over-the-top versions and got a real mod developer to judge my work at the end. The weapons I made in this video were some of my best, so if you like what you see, I'd appreciate if you subscribe. The first weapon I redesigned is the Diamond Sword. I could just add more types of weapons, but there's plenty of other mods that already do that, and more importantly, that would be way too easy. On this channel, we do torture. I decided to do something like those mods where you can combine blocks into condensed versions. Nine dirt would become one condensed dirt and so on until you have one block that's worth billions. This is known as the dream luck ratio. I thought it would be cool if instead of combining blocks, you could combine swords into bigger and better versions. So that's pretty much what I did. For stage one, I pretty much just made the blade slightly wider and messed around with the handle shape a bit. I also raised the center of the blade to give it more of a 3D shape. For stage two, I made the blade considerably longer and a few smaller changes. This is already worth 81 diamond swords, so I imagine the stats would increase significantly at the same time. Stage three is when I'm pretty sure I started to lose my mind. I scrapped the whole thing and started making a completely new shape with several layers of detail and multiple extruding blades. It's pretty cool, but I think I'm having a mental crisis right now, so I'll probably stop there and get to the other five weapons I have to design. Stage four is where Minecraft became an abstract concept. For 6,561 swords, you expect nothing less than Jesus descending from the sky and Thanos snapping whatever it is that looked in your general direction. Why am I still making these? Could it be the constant struggle between wanting to be a perfectionist and also wanting to upload more than once a year? Is that William Defoe's chin? Behold, my most devastating attack yet. For what it's worth, the swords don't even have to be diamond. They could be wood, stone, gold, iron, or whatever other materials people come up with these days. And speaking of people coming up with things, today's video is partnered with Skillshare. Skillshare is an online learning community that offers thousands of classes on a huge variety of topics. Remember that unholy video where I made a Minecraft mod and desecrated the hollowed art of coding for centuries to come? Well, I learned all that in Skillshare, so there's that. Game development, bass guitar, uh, smartphone skincare product photography, an easy way to create stunning skincare products. They've got it all. Before I was making videos on YouTube, I was making them on Skillshare. In this lecture, we're going to get mega scans. This is so cute. It was before I knew how to mask the extremely depressive voice with a bunch of cheap audio effects. The first 1,000 of my subscribers to click the link in the description will get a one month free trial of Skillshare to start exploring your creativity today. But that's enough of that. Let's get back to the video. From what I can tell, Minecraft weapons generally fall into three categories, melee, ranged, and other. If I'm going to impress the mod developer, I need to do something unexpected. There's plenty of sources to draw inspiration from, since there's tons of games and fan-made mods that already have way more weapons than Minecraft itself does. Terraria, for example, has 1, 2, 3, 4, 99 swords compared to Minecraft's 6. What caught my eye were these 3D voxel style weapons from different mods. Being a 3D artist, I could probably make something cool with that. I decided to make 5 staffs, each with their own abilities. They'd be extremely hard to get, but also really overpowered if you get them. There's one major problem with my plan though. My call with a mod developer is in like 2 days, and I need to save some time. I may be a 3D artist, but in today's day and age, sometimes you just need a regular artist. So yeah, basically, I just need some concept art if you have the time. Uh, sure. Having secured some concept art, I finally got started on the staffs. The first one is the Ender Staff, which would attack automatically with the miniature eyes that orbit around it and let you teleport unlimited times wherever you're currently looking. I started the design with the Eye of Ender in the center. It's held on by these clamps and supported by a longer staff at the bottom. For the texturing, I used obsidian for the staff and diamond for the crystals around the sides. I'm happy with it. Turning a high resolution image into cubes isn't easy, but thankfully the shape wasn't too hard and I was able to- What on God's beloved green earth am I supposed to do with this? Okay, the shape's a little harder this time, not gonna lie, but I didn't sign up for this because it was easy. I did it because I like pain, specifically back pain. The forest staff would speed up the growth process of crops and plants within a hundred block radius. It can also make animals hostile to monsters, kind of like wolves or iron golems. I used oak wood for the staff and even put a bunch of flowers along the sides. After an undisclosed amount of time, this is what I came up with. I painted each one of those pixels individually with a mouse. What'd you do this weekend? Organic shapes are the hardest to get right, so hopefully it gets easier for me. So you want to explain why a 3D star was a good idea for a Minecraft staff? I don't know. Looks cool. Okay, I guess I can download a 3D model of a star bit, make it pointier, turn it into cubes, 
painstakingly recreate the shape layer by layer, that's fine. This room is a back pain safe space and it's too big. It's my, it's way too big and now I have to remake it again. That's fine. That's, that's fine with me. For the texturing, I used packed ice for the ice pieces and dark oak wood for the staff. The ice staff would slow down mobs within a 50 block radius and also could shoot these ice balls because I spent way too much time on these to just not use them. The fourth staff is the nether staff, which would glow brighter the closer it is to netherite and be able to summon zombie pigmen to fight for you. This one was surprisingly easy to make, but that's probably biased from the last one to be fair. After all this time, the first four staffs are complete and at last, it's time to make the ultimate staff. A staff that would go down in history as the most fearsome weapon of all. The body is made of gold with a red handle and an elegant design. Ah, what a beautiful staff. I wonder what clever function it will have. Yeah, it summons the, uh, the Among Us guys from last time. This is the only one I didn't have concept art for, by the way, if that's not abundantly obvious. With that, I had finished all five staffs and it was almost time to show the mod developer. Along the way, I made a few honorable mentions when I was bored. Some lightsabers that grow the more crystals you put into it, shurikens you can throw multiple of at once, a grappling hook, just a normal grappling hook. Every game that has one is usually better for it. Doom, Halo, Just Cause, Cruelty Squad. That game was made for 3D artists. Look at all these wonderful textures. They make me want to commit a felony. But ultimately, the ones I was most proud of were the compact swords and the staffs. I made some final adjustments and basic animations, and with that, it was time for my work to be judged. I was gonna do something like the mob vote last time. Crystal Golem won, by the way, but I ran out of time, so if you didn't get the vote, that's such a shame that you weren't following my Twitter, you freeloading disgusting, devastating. And so without further ado, it was finally time to make the call. Hi, I uh, made some weapons. What? All right, what are your top three? Like which three would you want to see in the game the most? My number three pick would be the ice staff. I really like how it kind of looks like a morning star. It reminds me of the twilight forest a little bit. It reminds me of like the Yeti area. Overall, I think this would be pretty easy to implement. Although the spinning might be a little more difficult just with how Minecraft renders things. My number two pick is the forest staff, man. I'm a big fan of this design. I love the way that the emerald sways a little bit, like it's blowing in the wind. I like the little rose on the bottom. I think this one actually might be one of the easier ones. I already have done a couple of things with plants and changing the speed that they grow, so it probably would actually work pretty well. My number one pick is definitely the nether staff. The idea of having a divining rod to help me find some netherite, very appreciated. I really like the design of this one a lot. I like the glowstone as like a little divining gem at the top. I like the way that it looks like it's partially melted. My least favorite of all the designs you've shown me today is probably the first tier of compact sword. You know the, the subreddit, what's wrong with your dog? It's like that, but for swords. I mean, it's not all bad. When you look close at it, it actually is kind of impressive actually, but <laughs> just at first glance, it's a, uh, uh, maybe I'll pass. Uh, I have a YouTube channel where I showcase the mods that my patrons vote for every month, and I have a Discord where people hang out sometimes. So if any of that sounds interesting to you, come on over and check it out. And with that, I impressed the mod developer once again with software I should not legally have access to. I'm gonna go sleep now. Bye, follow my Twitter.